Hi there, my name is Cameron Manning and with the Kelly Fry team. And today we're bringing you an all new series where we're highlighting the cities across the lower mainland. Today we're gonna to be featuring the city of Port Coquitlam. We are gonna take you all around the city and show you exactly what you need to know if you plan on moving here. We're here in the downtown area of Port Coquitlam and what's interesting to note is the city itself has over 61,000 residents and was incorporated on March 7th in 1913. Being downtown, you're seeing a ton of different businesses, shops, coffee shops. It's a great area to come, just kind of lounge, hang out with your friends. We're right next to Veterans Park. There's a ton to do down here. And what's also really cool about downtown Port Coquitlam is every year they host a massive car show. And this entire street is fully shut down and you have beautiful old hot rods, custom cars, everything like that. The city of Port Coquitlam has a ton of different businesses, commercial and industrial applications in the area and with that it creates a lot of jobs. When you have jobs you bring a lot of families and to service those families you have a beautiful brand new recreation facility. In this recreation facility you've got a leisure pool, you've got fitness facilities, you've got lounges, games rooms and tons more and that's just in the phase one. They're continuing to develop this area and it's really bringing a vibrant new feel to the downtown core of Port Coquitlam. So Port Coquitlam is considered part of the Tri-Cities, which include both Port Coquitlam, Coquitlam, and Port Moody. And all of those cities are all part of the Metro Vancouver area, which are all then connected by TransLink. Here you have the bus loop, which takes you all across Port Coquitlam and into the other cities. And you also have the West Coast Express. This is an express train that takes you right into the downtown waterfront station for those who work in the downtown core. Standing behind me is Gates Park, and this is an absolutely incredible thing that Port Coquitlam has. First of all, it honestly has way too many amenities for me to actually name, but it is a sports mecca for local teams and for regional events. They got tons of different fields. They got tennis ball courts. They got racquetball courts, AstroTurf fields. It is truly a sports dream in this area. And this is something that you can come out and check out because they also have playgrounds, picnic areas, and it connects to the Poco Trail as well. If you like hiking, Port Coquitlam is home to the Trabulae Poco Trail, which is 25 kilometers of hiking paths through natural greenery and absolutely stunning scenery. As part of the city's plan for growth and redevelopment, you're seeing the downtown core bringing a lot of these stunning new buildings. This is a great example of what's happening where you've got brand new buildings across from the recreation center that are gonna be completing soon. This was actually a four phase project that many of our clients actually bought into called the Montrose. This is another great example of what the city of Port Coquitlam is doing to revitalize their downtown core. So if you've been doing any research into the Lower Mainland, you can see there's a ton of natural beauty in this province. And of course, the city of Port Coquitlam is no different. The city of Port Coquitlam itself has over 271 hectares of park and green space for you to enjoy. Right now we're at Blakeburn Lagoons Park. This is a park that's adjacent to Blakeburn Park and was actually developed in 2018. So this is a newer park that you can come, enjoy and connect with nature. And our last stop on our tour today is to talk about the schools that we have here in Port Coquitlam. If you're thinking about moving to Poco and you have a family, don't worry, there's a lot of schools to choose from depending on the area that you're planning on living in. There's over 20 public schools and there's four more independent schools as well, such as you can see behind me, the Terry Fox Secondary School. So if you've got a family, don't worry, Port Coquitlam has you covered. And that concludes our tour of Port Coquitlam. We hope you enjoyed this video and took a lot out of it. If you've been thinking about moving to Port Coquitlam, the Kelly Fry team is here to help. Feel free to reach out to me at 604-365-9771. Also, if you're from the Port Coquitlam area, throw a comment below. Let us know what your favorite part of living in Port Coquitlam is.